Okay, so if you normally, if you want to recruit Minthara, you have to raid the Grove. But they have updated it now to where you can recruit Minthara and not raid the Grove. Before, you'd have to kill Will and kill Carlock and give them the withers to hold on to, raid the Grove, and then bring them back to life. Only problem with that is, uh, is Car uh, they fixed it to where Will will still leave the party, even if Withers has him. And Carlock will be returned to you, but she'll have the lowest amount of friendship that you can have, which is displayed Don't burn yourself. You know, down here. Like it'll be permanently low and you can't really do the thing to raise it. But Shouldn't have wished to live in more interesting times. If you knock out Mithara, either when she comes to raid the Grove, or you knock her out beforehand. That's far enough. You could still recruit her because she'll appear here. His thoughts invade your own, probing for purchase. Your parasite purrs in recognition. Ah, one blessed like myself. <laughs> What news, true soul? Right enough. You'll find Zrell in the audience chamber, true soul. She'll be wanting to hear from you. That's what I call an invitation. Let's find Zarel and get this caravan moving. Praise the absolute. Okay. So, better not be cursed. As you say, normally you have to raid the grove to get in the fire. There can be no doubt. This is the place. Will this is where we'll discover the secret of the absolute. Room. But if you knock the fire out in the goblin hideout, or if you knock her out when she comes to raid the grove, just as long as you don't kill her in Act 1. She will be right here in Act Two. I will not be slandered! General, you saw my reports. You know it's not my fault. The facts suggest otherwise. You were ordered to retrieve the artifact. You failed to do so. If I had been given drow warriors instead of goblin trash! Oi! What? You scrag! Enough! A blast of mental energy washes over you, filling the room. Your tadpole squirms, urging you to obey. Let me make sure I understand this. You're claiming that General Thorne gave you the wrong soldiers. Yes. No! You blame the Absolutes chosen for your failure. Of course it is not the General's fault. Whose then? Zarel's mind is a steel trap, but you cautiously ease your way in. You just need to shift her focus a little. I'm being unkind. Anyone might have struggled with such imperfect tools. Goblins are prone to failure. Yes, it's the goblins' fault. They failed you, General, not me. General, take Minthara below. Someone will have to consider her fate. No! Please! Mercy! Please! <laughs> bye bye, princess. And the goblins, General. You, true soul. You have seen what these creatures are capable of, and you have seen their inadequacies, isn't that so? What is your judgment? You know I'm loyal! Tell him! <laughs> Enough! True soul, tell the general how the goblins served our cause. Thank you! 
I'm glad someone noticed. I'm sure they were very enthusiastic. But zeal without efficacy is for children, not servants. We are too close to the ending and the new beginning. I can coddle failure no longer. Kill them quickly. What? No! You creaking old bag of shit! <laughs> My lord, she's an unbeliever outside my control. Try again. Dispose of the rest as you see fit. Or better yet, put that true soul to use. You have far more important matters to attend to. Or have you forgotten? Of course not, my lord. Thank you. You heard the general. The goblins are yours. Deal with them however you wish. Here, in the seat of the Absolute's power, your authority over them is complete. They will obey any command. Report to me upstairs when you're done. Please! You gotta help me! For old time's sake! <laughs> Go see Zarel. And mind you don't slip in the goblin gut. Won't I? Okay. So what we are doing on that, uh, we basically come down here to the dungeons now. You're mistaken, surely. Where we being arrested for assault. To be greeted as a hero. And see my bars here. But the wretches imprisoned me and tried to tear my mind apart. I didn't think anyone would come for me. Agreed. I will pretend the interrogators finished their work and feign obedience. They will think me a thrall. Lead the way. Thara is supposed to be in a cell. You have some explaining to do. Close ranks. Another step forward. All right, and then you'll notice that the teeth are inside. 
aren't here. Let me guess. The Absolute is the only way. Don't bother. Why don't you and Zevlor take a long walk off a short cliff? That means... Rolan. <laughs> Told you he'd make it. If you're not at the Absolute's beck and call, why are you here? Well, it clearly doesn't take much brains, because as you can see, we left our Mountains of Gold at home. Escape first, then we'll talk payment. Gnomes next door are up to something. They've been whispering like mad. Whatever it is, we're in. Don't leave us in here. Nimble, check for gaps, cracks, anything to leverage the rock. Nickels, tools, get creative. This rock is basalt. It'll crack with enough pressure. Ah, don't mind us, true soul. The back wall is weak. We're working to brace it. <laughs> I wouldn't be so foolish as to think I could escape the absolute. The warden has eyes everywhere. And ears. <laughs> Were I to get such help, I'd be appreciative. But why would a true soul be offering? The Absolute thinks she's got you by the scruff of the neck. But it's the other way around, isn't it? I reckon you and I were meant to meet. I'm Wilbrun. We've got a plan. For us and the tieflings both. But we're scuppered without the right equipment. We need tools. That head case of a warden robbed ours. But anything that breaks rock will do. Even if it's not iron hand quality. Whatever you find, throw it through the bars. But for the love of Gerdor, make sure a guard doesn't see you. Or we're both done for. forward. Hmm. 
May the gods take you. Boat's good to go. All that's left is to ship off. My plan for now is to hide out on the water. Unless you have a better idea. Safe? That's no small claim in these parts. Lead the damn way. Hold there! You can't just land and start unloading strangers. They're procedures, damn it! No one gets in without being tested. Commander Jahira's orders. And they'll have it once we know they're free from infection. Here, form a line. Let's see if the Absolute's little pet recognizes any of you. The Absolute's what? What are you doing? If what you've said is true, no one has anything to fear. If not, well, we'll soon find out. Now, form a line. I'll not ask again. That's it. This won't take long. All right. They all line up here. I last left Moonrise as a commander in the Absolute's army, obeying the voice of a god. I thought I had found a home and a purpose. Now I leave as an exile. But you risked your life to rescue me. For that, I am grateful. The artifact connects with her, pulling your minds together and showing her all that you have seen. The prism, your dream visitor, the protection that keeps you from obeying the absolute and becoming a lithid. She knows it all in a moment. Her mind reels, but is no longer clouded. She accepts the truth. She has no choice. There is much we must discuss. Do you have a safe place to camp nearby? Goodbye for now. I will see you soon. It's for a good call. Time to press a head. Roland! Oh, thanks the gods. lackeys found me already. Blast it all! You need to deal with him. Very well. I've been worried. Did you enjoy relaxing here while I battled that wretched darkness? What were you thinking? I'm sorry, we got captured by murderous lunatics. I thought you were dead, you ass. Both of you. We're all safe, Roland. That's what matters. I thought my entire family was dead. I'm sorry. We should have been here. No, no, it's, it's not your fault. I, I shouldn't have shouted. I'm sorry. Thank you for saving me. And the two idiots. Humble too? Imagine that. She has no cause to be humble. She brought us back together. A 
task I failed miserably at. You went out of your way to help us. It's only right you get something in return. Here. I hope it helps. Two tiefling queens, remember? I couldn't leave my favorite bard without her partner in crime. I did have some help from an old friend, though. <laughs> How did you do it? <laughs> well, they're not the ones standing here, are they? You should have seen her. She was brave, but also terrifying. In a good way. Oh, I never thought I'd see... Well, anyone again. Thank you. A thousand times, thank you. One last favor. Take this off my hands. It suits you better. It does not compare with the comforts of home, but your camp is almost palatial in comparison to my previous accommodation. Thank you for allowing me to come here and for bringing me back to myself. Each memory that returns to me is more disturbing than the last. The things that I did in the name of the Absolute. The things that were done to me. They broke my mind. Precisely. While our tadpoles live, and the cult have the means to control them, we will never be safe. We must eradicate them. Starting with General Thorm. I mean, Ketherick. My deference to him is a habit that will die hard, I fear. All that live can die. I can help you plot Ketherick's demise, but I need something from you first. Swear that you will keep me close. Until the Absolute is dead, at least. The Prism will protect me. You will fight alongside me and help me to get my vengeance. I knew you were different to other true souls when we met, but I could see nothing clearly. Now, thanks to the prism, the Absolute does not cloud my thoughts at all. I see that together. We can have our vengeance on those who infected us. Rest well, and keep your wits about you. Tomorrow, we go to war with the Cult of the Absolute. I would gladly join you in the fight. Leave one of your other allies here, and I shall. Your party is full. Did you think I would not notice? Okay. And Indeed. Now they have been far up for free, then we save the people. So like I said, all you gotta do, knock her out at the goblin hideout, or knock her out if she comes to the throw, as long as you don't kill her. Thanks for watching. Hope you subscribe.